the clip grid gives you a scrollable representation of your live session view, showing clips, scenes and tracks, updating automatically when anything in the set changes. To navigate through your session, drag around the set with your finger and launch clips by tapping on them. If you tap the lock navigation icon, the navigation will be only possible using the track and scene headers. Clips will respond to touch a finger immediately instead of waiting for the finger to lift. Each clip includes an horizontal progression bar, which represents the playhead of the clip. So, if some of the clips were longer than other clips, you can clearly see how far the playhead is on each clip. If a clip is playing in a track, the respective header will display an horizontal progression bar, which represents the playhead of current playing clip. If you want to figure out what clip is active in any given track, simply tap the header of that track, and the live set will jump to bring the active clip into view. By pressing the stop button, you can activate the stop menu. It contains stop buttons for each track and a button that stops all currently playing clips. If a track is not playing, the stop button will be shown in dark red. If it is playing, the button will be shown in red with a length progression bar. You can also stop a clip by tapping in the same track any empty slot containing a stop button. When stopping, the buttons will be highlighted in white. You can increase or decrease the amount of tracks and clips in the clip view by tapping the dedicated buttons located in the button bar. Any changes of color or text of any given track, scene or clip in your live session view will be automatically updated in the clip view. To collapse or expand group tracks, simply tap once on the group track header. Open the button bar and tap the arm or solo icon to show them for each of the tracks. Note that the solo buttons can be used as toggles or momentary buttons. If you tap them quickly, they will toggle the solos on and off. If you do longer tap on, they will act as momentary buttons. Q can be used as solo if this option has been selected in Ableton Live. To arm or solo as many simultaneous tracks as you desire, make sure you have disabled exclusive option in the preferences of live. Tap the fixed length button to set the size of new clips to a predetermined length. Set a value in the quantization menu. Any clip recorded or added will automatically be of the size specified. You can add new tracks, scenes, midi clip or stop button in empty slots. To do that, open the transport bar, then tap and keep press the add button. A plus symbol will appear on all objects that may be added. Tapping on a track or scene will open a sub-menu with options to add or duplicate a scene, or an audio track, or a MIDI track. Hold the Add button and tap quickly on a clip to duplicate this clip to the slot below. If used on an empty slot in the clip grid, a stop button will be added. You can also delete tracks, clips, scenes and stop buttons on empty slots. Tap and hold the delete button. A cross symbol appears on all objects that may be deleted. Tap on the one you want to delete. Track and scene must be tapped twice.
to get access to some editing functions of the clips in the grid. Use the Select Clip icon on the sidebar. Activate it and tap an audio clip to pop up its clip window. Or tap the MIDI clip to pop up its MIDI clip editor view. Touchable Session Overview lets you navigate through large live sets quickly without looking at your computer screen. Tap the Overview icon button to reveal an overview of your session view. To jump to a section of the set, you simply tap the area you want to navigate to and you jump straight back into the live set centered where you tapped. The section on the right of the overview shows respectively the first clip, track and scene of the current selection. The loop button shows or hide the loop. The loop section enables you to loop any given clip at any time, regardless of what loop settings are set for this clip in live. Enable or disable the loop by pressing the loop button. If the loop is enabled, you can half or double the loop size independently for each track by tapping the left and right arrow buttons. The peak jump section is set up similar to the loop section. Again, you can half or double the jump size for each track by tapping the left and right buttons. Instead of the loop toggle, the beat jump section contains a button for backward jumping and one for forward jumping. To jump in a playing track, simply select the length in bars you want to jump and press one of the directional buttons. When activated, the beat jump function is replaced by the loop jump function. A loop jump simply moves the current loop around and enables you to jump around a track always staying in loop.